Hi everyone, so today I am doing swatches from a swatch card from Daniel Smith and it's the Shirley Trevena palette. Uh, that comes with 18 little dots that you can swatch out as you can see on the right hand side of the screen there. So I'm just showing you what they are and telling you a little bit about the colours. So that first one that I just did, that is French Ultramarine. It has excellent light fastness, medium staining, it's granulating and it's transparent. You can see the granulation quite well there. Um, when it dries, it granulates even a little bit more. And it has a very interesting granulating pattern. It's something that I haven't seen before as part of granulation. The second one is Cobalt Teal Blue. It has excellent light fastness, but that's from their own tests, not from ASTM. It's non-staining, it's granulating, and it's semi-transparent. It doesn't look that granulating when you do wet on wet, it looks kind of granulated when it's just wet on dry though. Next is Cobalt Blue, it has excellent light fastness, it's low staining, granulating and semi-transparent, has a pretty standard granulating pattern. Next is Undersea Green, it's excellent light fastness, medium staining, it's granulating and it's semi-transparent. It's a beautiful pattern of granulation. It has loads of different colours that come out within the granulation as well. It's gorgeous. Next we've got Green Appetite Genuine. That's a Primatech colour which means it's not made from the standard pigments that normal watercolour paints use but from some kind of gemstone. Um, it has excellent light fastness, it's low staining, it's granulating, it's semi-transparent and it has a beautiful kind of lime green granulation. Then there's Perilene Green, that's excellent light fastness from their own test, not from ASTM. Medium staining, not granulating, and semi-transparent. It looked a bit granulating on my wet on wet swatch, but that's probably just how it dried when the wet on dry swatch looked very non-granulating. Next is Hansa Yellow Medium, it has excellent light fastness, low staining, not granulating, and semi-transparent. Just a pretty standard yellow watercolour to be honest. Then we've got Quinacridone Gold, that's got excellent light fastness, low staining, granulating and transparent. It's a beautiful colour. Uh, it granulates pretty standardly though. Nickel Titanate Yellow, that's got excellent light fastness, non-staining, it granulates and it's semi-transparent. It doesn't look very granulating but I think that could just be because it looks it's so like pale you can't really see it contrast much on this paper. Then we've got Cadmium Red Scarlet Hue. It's got excellent light fastness, low staining, non-granulating, and semi-transparent. Then we've got Quinacridone Pink. It's got very good light fastness from their own tests. It's low staining, non-granulating and transparent and it's a gorgeous like deep pinky plum colour. We've got Permanent Alizarin Crimson, which has excellent light fastness, medium staining, non-granulating and transparent. And we've got Imperial Purple, that has excellent light fastness, low staining, granulating and semi-transparent. This granulation is beautiful, it kind of brings pink to the edges. Um, you can see when it dries, it almost has like a pink rig around the edge, it's beautiful. And we've got Quinacridone Magenta, which has excellent light fastness, but from their own tests, not from ASTM. Medium staining, non-granulating and transparent. It's another beautiful, deep, plummy colour, kind of slightly brighter than Quinacridone Pink. And we've got Moon Glow, which has excellent light fastness from their own tests, not from ASTM. It's low staining, it's granulating and it's transparent, and this is another one with a beautiful granulation, bringing out multiple colours as it spreads through the wetness of the paper. Then we've got Bloodstone Genuine, which is another Primatech colour. It has excellent light fastness, it's non-staining, it's granulating and it's transparent. It has a really cool way of granulating, it kind of like has holes in the pigment. Um, kind of doesn't sound like it makes sense, but if you look at the swatch you can kind of see there's like white gaps in it, as well as it kind of does leak a more warm coloured tone through the wet of the paper. Then we've got Piemontite, not sure how you say that, Genuine, and that's another Primatech. 
It's got excellent light fastness, it's low staining, granulating, semi-transparent. That one is like, kind of leaks a reddy orange colour, it almost looks rusty. Um, I couldn't see a use for that personally in my paintings, but it's definitely a very interesting watercolour. Um, if you did kind of buildings and things with rust in, I think that would look really cool. Then lastly we've got Permanent Brown, which has excellent light fastness from their own tests, not ASTM. It's mediumly staining, it's non-granulating, and it's transparent. So this is my first time ever trying Daniel Smith watercolours, and I think they're gorgeous. I got this dot card free um, from an order with Jackson's. If you order from Jackson's, um, I don't know if they give out free samples just generally, but you can claim free samples through their website. So I just went on the Daniel Smith section because I was curious and this came up free, so I got that. But yeah, like I said, this is my first time trying Daniel Smith watercolours. I'd never really tried expensive watercolours before. I think they're gorgeous. Um, I never really had a very high opinion of granulating watercolours before because I've never tried a granulating watercolour that does something interesting when it granulates. Normally it's just kind of speckledy and ugly. <laughs> But these are really beautiful, some of them are, so I would definitely consider getting some of these Daniel Smith paints. Um, in fact, I have actually ordered the dot card for the 5mm tubes, so I don't have to fall in love with any big expensive tubes. Because <laughs> I don't use- I, use, I paint watercolour quite often, but I don't use that much. I don't really know how people get through their things, like I've never used a full half pan of watercolour before, so I wouldn't need a 15mm, so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.